seven will stay wherever it lands. You lose your turn, you'll get ball in hand. Our referee is Charlie Yersetti. So Irving has a decision to make here, Alan. Well, he can knock the seven on his side of the tail, but then he gives ball in hand to Charlie. I mean to Fatty. And I don't think he really wants to give ball in hand to Fatty right now. So you would run the three and the six are locked down here. Well, not locked. If he gets the ball in hand, he can make the combination on the three uh -huh. or make the, or make the three. He can make the six or the three, but if he knocks the three up table and leaves the cue ball by the six ball, I don't know what he's going to choose to do here. If he knocks the seven over, he could leave it by the four ball and that's just knock it away again. Or... He's going to play the three ball. Irving Crane is a very meticulous, cautious player who studies the shot a long time before making a decision. He's made his decision. Tough shot. Three ball. Fatty will bank this ball into the seven. I don't think he'll even try and make it in the corner. Well, no, he's going to try and make it. He made it. If you're watching Minnesota Fats play for the first time, don't blink because the shot is on its way. Well, he, <laughs> I'm not sure if he was trying Can't to. Can't hit him that hard on him. <laughs> Bounce out. I hit that good. Yeah, that, that corner I lost the game. That's right. I wouldn't. Well, Irv's got a chance now to make the four and knock the seven away. If he wants to take that chance and knock it out. Doesn't want to make the seven. He makes the seven in Fatty's pocket, he'll lose the game. Well, it looks like that's what he's going to do. Uh, exactly what you're talking about. He's thinking about it. something on it, unable to get the seven. No, he didn't want to touch seven. He just wanted to make sure he made the four. Five and got on the five. He'll play the six and then knock the seven away. Six in the corner. He'll come down table now, knock the seven, probably try and bank the seven on his side of the table. And Here's the position. No, that's not good. Mm. And he's going to have a problem. Could double kiss here? No, it's not the double kiss he's worried about. Wherever he puts the seven, he's going to leave Fatty a shot. And unless he just hits the seven real easy and puts it over on the rail. And even that's not too safe. Fatty will have a shot. What I would do here is go to the bottom rail and hit the seven on the... Try to keep the cue ball there and hit the seven on my side of the table. Try and bank either cross side or, or cross corner. That's the only thing he can do. All right, he's made his decision. Well, he's not made a bad shot. He's left Fatty a chance to a free shot. Let's see if he can cut it in. Well, he's trying to bank it. No, he missed it. Yeah. And he's left Irving a bank shot. Cross corner bank shot. You like this shot? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, any one pocket player likes this shot. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed Jimmy Fusco came to life when you said, yes, I do. Well, Jimmy, Jimmy Fusco R. loves this shot. <laughs> <laughs> he hit it, a little light. Hit it well. Not only is it a nice shot, Irv, it's, it's a safe shot. Uh -huh. See where the ball is? He's really left Fatty no shot. Fatty has a two rail shot here. And and if he misses it, he's going to leave Irv another shot. Oh, Fatty look played a this. good shot here. Oh, look at Fatty's shot here. Oh, Fatty's starting to come to life now with that one pocket stuff. That was a good <laughs> shot. One pocket is a game that most of the pros do prefer. Great skill game. This is the part of the game that Fatty knows how to play. He does understand, and he understands angle. This, this part of the game here, he may play better than any of these players. Don't you think a lot of that is his uh, ability in three, uh, three cushion billiards? He knows no, the angle. His one pocket is, is 
one pocket play comes into effect now. He used to play one pocket better than all these players, and he knows the game as good as anybody. And it's going to show now. <laughs> you know, Irving's in, in trouble here. Irving's going to have to hit the ball thin and bring it on his side of the table and bring the cue ball back down table. And he won't. He shouldn't get a kiss here. Minnesota Fats won game one. This is the second game, seven ball competition. Wow. He's made a good shot, but he, it would have been better to do what I say. He's left Fatty a cross corner bank. Seven ball cross corner. I hope he doesn't hit it hard. Oh, he, he made it. <laughs> <laughs> Minnesota Fats, the crowd on a roll. He's on a roll. He leads this thing two games to none. Let's take another look, Alan. He, you know, he does of, bang it. He had a lot of confidence in this. He whacked it. If he'd have missed it, he'd have left Irving Craner. A good shot at his pocket, but he made it. Great shot. He, he can bank, you know. <laughs> yes, he can. Here he is, Minnesota Fats. He used to call him New York Fats. He sinks the bank, and that gives him a two games to none lead over Irving Crane. This is seven ball competition. We'll return for game number three. Three seven two three thousand now. If we play for crackers, I don't care if your mother-in-law beats me. Three. That's from Fats, That's but if we play for one. money, anything from $1,000 on up, one then one nobody's three. got a chance on earth. One of the many Crane's statements that Minnesota Fats has made. And right now, he leads Irving Crane, Crane two games to none, and he has hit a couple of pretty good right. banks, Alan. One yes, ball. he has. He's playing great. Some people just play better when the SRO sign is up. And that's this <laughs> man right here because he has been on a roll with the crowd ever since he got here. Seems the more people in the audience, the better he plays. <laughs> it really does. He's an incurable show-off, as we've mentioned. <laughs> and he likes it, and the people like it. One ball. Three in a corner. Irving Crane's thoughts now. He's down two games to none. He has played pretty good. In fact, that first game he played excellent. Ball he ball just made one mistake, and it cost him. Now Irving knows he has to get out. He can't miss the seven or lead the seven, start trying to play safe for Fatty on the seven, because Fatty plays one pocket. He plays as good as anybody. So he's going to have to get out. He's going to have to make the seven when he gets on it. Coming up stream for the five. The four is gone. Very nice shot. Five in the corner. Perfect. Got an angle on the six to make the six in the corner. Come back over on the other side of the tail for the seven. Six in the corner. Shot. That's pretty good position. Pool. Yes, Seven it is. in the corner. He can win it right here. Cut the deficit two to one. We're playing for ten thousand dollars. James Crane. Irving Crane gets his first win over Minnesota Fats. Now trails two games to one. He's one of the co-leaders along with Cowboy Jimmy Moore and Robert Rags Woods. Let's check out the setup here. Oh, he had perfect position on this ball. He just, just making the six and come over to the side rail for the seven. Played it perfect. So Irving Crane. Game four. Crane breaks and will trailing break. two one. Charlie Ursetti is our referee. Along with Alan Hopkins, I'm Irv Brown. Jimmy Fusco is with us. Far side. Okay. First back to the far side here at the near side. Patty got a long, tough shot. Oh, great shot. Two ball in the corner. Great shot. He hasn't had to shoot a lot either. Irving Crane has had the cue stick about 65% of the time, but Patty made the ones that have counted to give him the two game or the one game lead. Three in the corner. Now he's got a bad break. 